Thanks for choosing the PFC model fryer from the Perfect Fry Company. Your Perfect Fryer features the latest in air filtration technology and is quick and easy to clean. With proper operation and maintenance, your Perfect Fryer is designed to give you years of high quality and trouble free service. This video explanation can be found in your owner's manual following the same basic sequence of information. Please read your owner's manual as it contains more detailed information and updates on the care and maintenance of your new Perfect Fryer. Now, let's get started. First, select the right location for your fryer. Your Perfect Fryer must have a dedicated circuit rated for your model. If you do not have one, have an electrician install one within four feet of the fryer. Please refer to the electrical specifications table in your owner's manual for the appropriate NEMA receptacle. Place your perfect fryer on a sturdy level countertop. Make sure that there is a minimum of one inch clearance at the back. If you haven't already done so, unpack your perfect fryer. The fryer weighs 80 pounds, so lift it carefully using your legs and place it in its final location. When unpacking the fryer, Remove and discard the plastic wrapping. Keep the box along with the foam corners. Open the front panel by lifting and turning the latches one quarter turn counterclockwise. Then remove the front panel by lifting the whole assembly off its hinges. Remove the foam stuffing and internal parts. Air filter cage and air filter cartridge. Grease filter. Grease filter tray. basket, basket lift tray, heater module, and oil bag. Lastly, the spill tray. Ensure that the red blow-off caps on the fire extinguisher nozzles are kept in place. Remove the air filter cartridge and set it aside to keep it dry. Clean all parts and the inside of the cabinet with warm soapy water. Rinse the spill tray, oil bath, basket lift tray, and heater module with hot water. And do a final rinse with a vinegar solution of one part vinegar to two parts water. The vinegar rinse will neutralize any soap residue that can break down the frying oil prematurely. Be sure not to spray cleaning solutions into the female connector. There is no electrical hazard at the female connector when the front panel is open. Again, make sure that the red blow-off caps are in place after cleaning. Plug in the fryer. You will hear a short beep. This is just to let you know that the fryer is receiving power. Turn on the fryer by pressing the on-off key. The LCD screen will light up and display what's missing. When you install the part correctly, you will hear two short beeps. Install the grease filter into the grease tray. Make sure that the sensor magnet is located towards the control panel on the right-hand side. Install the grease tray into the filter compartment by sliding it along the rails and towards the back. It should fit firmly in place and flush with the top of the mid shelf. Make sure the arrows are pointing up. Fit the air filter cage over the air filter cartridge, ensuring that the cartridge fits fully inside the cage. Slide the air filter cage firmly back into the filter compartment so that the tabs at the back of the air filter cage fit into the matching receptacles at the back of the fryer. Push the cage firmly with the thumb on each side until the filter sits as far back as possible. Then while holding it with one hand, latch it with the other. Install the spill tray into the cooking compartment. The circular depressions on the spill tray will match up with the depressions in the bottom of the cooking compartment. When installing the heater module, Look on the bottom of the heater box to find the V-groove. It fits onto the back of the vat. Pour the frying oil into the vat and fill it to the cold level mark located on the inside back of the vat. Be sure to use a commercial grade frying oil especially formulated for deep fryers. Do not overfill. Slide the vat and heater module into the cooking compartment. Give an extra push on the heater module to ensure that the electrical connection is completed. The electrical connection will be quite stiff when it is new and will loosen over time. Hold the basket lift in a vertical position and insert it into the rod pivot hole in the spill tray located on the left side. Install the rod into the motor coupler on the right side. Pivot the basket tray forward from the vertical position 
and insert the basket arms into this build tray. Put the front panel back on its hinges. With the front panel closed, turn the latches one quarter turn clockwise and then press down to lock them in position. Now your fryer will begin heating. While your fryer is heating, the LCD screen will show heating. When the cooking temperature is reached, the LCD screen will show ready. Please remember to be aware of the hot oil. Now you're ready to begin cooking. Your perfect fryer comes with an extra large basket for the higher wattage models, or a large basket and two smaller baskets for the lower wattage models. On the extra large basket, there's a horizontal bar on each side about one inch from the top. This is the fill line. Do not fill the basket above this line. Place the required portions of food to be cooked in the basket. Pull the front door down and set the basket onto the basket lid. The basket will not drop into the oil until the door is closed and the start button is pressed. This safety feature keeps you and your staff away from the hot oil. Close the door. Using the keypad, enter the cooking time by pressing the numbers manually, like a microwave. By pressing the preset button and then a number between 1 and 9, you can select an appropriate preset time. By pushing the preset key twice, the LCD screen will show a padlock indicating you are in the preset lock mode. Now, simply press a number that corresponds to your preset cooking time. Let's go over that again. Manually, use the keypad to enter the required cooking time. You can enter the time manually or press preset and the appropriate preset number. In the preset lock mode, just press the appropriate number. Simply press the preset key to toggle between all three modes. Please refer to your owner's manual for default preset times and instructions on how to program your own times and product names. After you have selected your cooking time, press the start button. The basket lift will automatically lower into the oil. The LCD will display cooking, and the cooking time will begin to count down. Once the cooking time is completed, the basket lid will automatically rise out of the oil. The food will be allowed to drain for five seconds, and then the timer will beep. If you open the door during the cooking process, the cooking cycle will stop and put the fryer into pause mode. To continue the cook cycle, close the door and press start. Open the door and remove the basket. Shake off any excess oil if necessary. Place the product into a tray. Now you're ready to serve. When the food comes out of the fryer, it will be very hot, so please handle with care. When not preparing other food items, keep the basket in a separate tray. Do not store the basket inside the fryer or rest it on the front door. At the end of the day, press the off key. This will put the fryer into cool down mode. Do not unplug the fryer. The fans and LCD screen will shut off automatically when the oil temperature reaches a safe level. Now, let's talk about maintaining your perfect fryer. For daily maintenance, always make sure the fryer is turned off. Do not unplug the fryer. The system will be monitoring for possible error conditions. This feature ensures that all parts are properly replaced. Remember to let the oil cool down to a safe level before cleaning the fryer or removing the oil. The best time is in the morning prior to starting up the day's production. Hold the wire basket over a waste receptacle as you wipe the crumbs and other food particles off with a paper towel. Wipe crumbs, oil, and any other foreign matter from the inside of the door onto the spill tray using a damp cloth and dry with a paper towel. Clean the outside of the fryer with a good stainless steel cleaner and wipe dry. Never use abrasive products. Check the oil level in the vat to make sure the oil is up to the cold line on the back of the vat. Add clean oil if needed. We recommend that you change the oil once a week, under normal conditions, or as often as required. For weekly maintenance, always make sure the fryer is turned off. Do not unplug the fryer. Remember to let the oil cool down to a safe level before cleaning the fryer or removing the oil. The best time is in the morning, prior to start up of the day's production. 
unlatch the front panel and lift it off its hinges. The front panel can be cleaned as is, or if preferred, can be taken apart for cleaning. To take the assembly apart, simply remove the springs, open and slide off the door. Wash the parts in warm soapy water. Rinse with hot water and dry. To clean the stainless steel grease filter and grease tray, remove the air filter cartridge and push up on the grease tray from the cooking compartment. Then simply slide it out. Remove the grease filter from the tray and drain any oil that has accumulated. Wash the parts in warm soapy water, rinse with hot water and dry. Remove the basket lift tray and soak it along with the basket in the hot soapy water. Rinse with hot water and give it a final rinse with a solution of one part white vinegar to two parts water, then dry. Remove the vat and heater module from the cooking compartment by grabbing both handles with each hand and pulling towards you. Lift the heater module out of the oil vat and let it drip for a few seconds. Then set it aside for cleaning. Pour out the used oil into an empty container. Spray the oil vat, heater element and basket lip with an oven cleaner and let it soak in a plastic bag overnight. Ecolab Grease Strip Plus and Easy Off are recommended. By morning, the grease will become easy to remove. Do not spray oven cleaner on the male connector. The terminal should be gently wiped with a paper towel. If the terminals are dirty, clean them with rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab. Use an abrasive only if necessary. Wash all three with warm soapy water. Do not immerse the heater box portion in water. It is splash proof but not waterproof. Rinse with hot water and give it a final rinse with a solution of one part white vinegar to two parts water, then dry. The vinegar rinse is very important. It neutralizes soap residue that causes foaming. Soap residue turns the oil dark and reduces its performance. Remove the spill tray and drain any excess oil. Wash the spill tray in warm soapy water, rinse with hot water, and dry. With the internal components removed, clean the cooking and filter compartment using a grease cutting soap or an oven cleaner if necessary. Be careful not to spray the inside of the female connector. If the connector terminals are dirty, gently wipe them with rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab. There is no electrical hazard at the female connector, even with the fryer plugged in. Ensure that the red blow-off caps are in position after cleaning. With all the components removed, you can now move the fryer to clean under it. Clean the outside of the fryer with a good stainless steel cleaner and wipe dry. Remember, never to use abrasive products. Just as with daily maintenance, the system will be monitoring for possible error conditions. This feature ensures that all parts are properly replaced. For continued dependability and ease of operation, follow these periodic maintenance suggestions in addition to your daily and weekly procedures. The Perfect Firemaster system has been especially designed for your Perfect Fryer. Once a month, you should check that no obvious physical damage or condition exists that may prevent operation. For example, check to see that the red blow-off caps are intact and undamaged, and that the manual pull is unobstructed. Also, check the pressure gauge on the fire extinguisher by looking through the small window on the right side of the fryer to make sure that the needle is in the green zone. The perfect fire master system must be inspected semi-annually by authorized service personnel as per NFPA 17. It is important that a maintenance program is set up for the local fire service company to ensure that local jurisdictional codes are being met. Inspect the air filter cartridge for saturation. The air filter cartridge should be replaced every three months or more often for higher volume usage. To replace the air filter, release the latch and remove the air filter cage. Remove the old air filter from the cage and insert a new one, making sure the arrows on the new filter are pointing up. Ensure that the cage sits firmly against the cartridge. Here are some quick tips to follow to ensure that your customers receive the highest quality food product. Keep the food frozen. Generally, fried foods are designed to be cooked when frozen. Raw, refrigerated and refrozen food will absorb more grease and may become soggy. Cooking a frozen product 
helps you in the moisture and the solids which gives your customers the best quality product. Remove excess ice and moisture from the food. Oil and water do not mix. Excessive moisture will reduce the oil life, extend cooking time, delay serving, increase cleaning and may cause surge boiling. For the same reasons, do not overload the basket. If the product is not under the oil, it will not cook. Remember, the less moisture in the food, the quicker the deep fry time and the more efficient use of your perfect fryer. Companies that prepare frozen foods, especially for deep frying, recommend cooking times for each type and size of food. For a typical frying station, we recommend that a heat lamp or display warmer and two trays are used with a fryer. Use a tray at the front of the fryer for the basket and a larger tray along with the heat lamp for keeping the food warm and ready to serve. These items are readily available from your Perfect Fry Company distributor. Your Perfect Fryer also contains many special features designed to enhance its dependability and safety. Please refer to your owner's manual for further details. Your understanding of this product will result in making your job easier and your customer receiving the highest quality food every time. Perfect Fry Company, the leader in ventless cooking technology.